Shannon from Patriot Memory, and today we're going to show you the newest thing from Puppy Tech's 2024. So first with our Viper lineup, okay. we have our Gen 5 SSDs, and that starts with the PV553, which we've been showing for a while. It's finally finished with an improved fan and improved heat seat design. It's about 2.5 mils thinner than most other Gen 5 on the market. And then, and that is obviously a Fizen E26 solution based upon the launch platform. Then we work to integrate on our 14 King drive, which allows us a little more flexibility on the cooling solution, along with the overall performance and the NAND we're using. But there's one really cool one, because 14 gig, you know, that exists. We understand that. But we have something we're working on that you'll see before the end of the year. And this is our Gen 5 DRAM solution. So VP4300 Lite, that was the one that we did previously. And it was a Maxia Tech controller with the YMTC flash. And it just completely lit the market on fire as far as how fast it went. It was a very performant drive. We did really well on PS5 along with gaming solutions, PCs across the board because HMB makes it a very powerful drive. Well, we're doing the same thing with Gen 5. So right here, you have the PD573, and this is the uh, DRAMless drive with HMB, and this is gonna be a great value killer that also does excellent performance of over 14,000 megabytes a second in uh, unsequential read and 12,000 megabytes a second sequential read. Now, if we move over here, there's something actually really awesome that we're gonna show you. This is PC, this is uh, basically, you have your PCIe SSD, well, you know Thunderbolt and all that. USB 4 is very new, but we're already working on a storage solution with it right here. This has a tiny active fan in it, but it will fit up to like four or even up to eight terabyte uh, SSD. It will come pre-configured with possibly up to like a four terabyte, but we're looking at even making this an enclosure style possibly, where you can have a USB 4 solution and you can put whatever SSD you want in it. And that will make it really awesome for the kind of performance you see here, where we're almost hitting 3,800 megabytes a second read and 30, uh, almost 3,700 right. So that makes it a very powerful solution as far as being able to knock out like on the go, extremely high speeds, whether you're talking video editing, content creation, or anything where maybe this is with your laptop and you don't have enough internal storage, you can have a bunch of data dumped on here and it'll be just about as fast as most of your internal drives, just limited right about where USB 4 is, which is about 3,500 megs a second. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for DDR5, we actually have seen most of our models, Extreme 5, non-RGB, but we have one. We work with our partners at MSI. So that, of course, they released uh, something to strip the market up a little bit with their MSI Empower board, the Z790, and it's a very budget-oriented, high-performance, one DIM per channel MSI board. This MATX is basically just really, really compact, just really simple solution, like 200 bucks price point. So we wanted to work with them and make a module that worked with it as well. So up to 8,000 MTS, and also obviously headroom to overclock past that. But basically you can set an XMP profile. As long as your CPU can handle it, you can pretty much just set it and go at 8,000. Now, just to show you how much we can do with our kits, we have an 8500G here. And as you can see, we're at GDR5 10,000 on here. So this is uh, just an AIO on the CPU. And this is not even like heavily, heavily clocked. As you can see, it's fully bench capable, like it's running high prime. And it just straight up works. I mean, that's the thing. This memory is super easy to overclock. So it creates a really good opportunity to do some really crazy stuff as long as you have a board that can handle that kind of speed. You wanna go fit? Okay, do any of you guys use iPhone? Do any of you guys use iPhone? Do any of you use iPhone? I, no, 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 no. Do any of you use iPhone? No. Okay, you know the new iPhone they launched? Yeah, they it allows ProRes and all yeah. that? This one is MagSafe. Oh. So MagSafe, it sticks. You can plug in to record your, to record your yeah. ProRes video, but instead of just being SSD, it also has a pass-through port, so you can charge your phone, hook like a power bank to it, and this will allow you to keep your phone charged. So let's say you're walking around like you're doing right now and you're recording. You can technically also probably run this, I would have to test it. You can run this on Apple or on any basically USB-C because it's just an external SSD. So let's say you could hook it to your phone right here. You could have this and you can be recording and you can just record directly to your uh, storage, which means you're never gonna run out of space. And with the power bank pass-through, means you can keep recording and not worry about your phone going dead. Then for the other Apple stuff I think is kind of cool was we took the same idea. This kind of looks like an Apple Watch, but what it is is it's an external SSD that runs fast enough to record ProRes on it. 
and it also has a Find My Tracker inside. So you know like AirTag? This works on the same technology, so you can track your SSD if you ever misplace it. You can find it. So let's say you leave it at a cafe or something, right? Or on the train, you can track where it goes, just like an AirTag. But it's built into the SSD, so it keeps your stuff safe. Yeah. Now this one I think you might like because it's both Apple or it's both Apple or Android. You know everyone, you always think about backing up your phone, right? You always think about backing up or to cloud or whatever. But you can never get all of it, right? You're always gonna back up like maybe photos or whatever. This ha these are both have EMC in them, so you know basically embedded memory. So type A or type C. They also have type A, type C here. This part plugs into your charger. So as you go to lay down in your bed to charge your phone, this is gonna be plugged in. You're gonna plug your cable for your phone into this, and the internal app that we have will allow it to set so that it will auto backup every night along with charging your phone. So basically, if something happens to your phone, you can add the trust for your PC, you can take this, plug it into your PC, and read all your phone data directly off the backup. So basically, instead of worrying about cloud backup, anything can be hacked, whatever, this just gives you the capability to have a direct hard backup on EMMC in this device, and the app, when you have it, if you set it to just auto backup, every time you plug in your phone to charge, it will sync everything on there, and it will keep it from duplicating. It also has multiple profiles, so you can plug tablet or whatever, and it will save that data as long as you set it up to do it. And this just backs it up so you don't have to worry about crashing and losing all your stuff. That right there is most of the highlights from the new stuff because most of the other things you know you've seen with CES and other launches. So that's a lot of what we have here at Patriot for 2024 Computex. Thank you for joining us, guys.